हनी कॉम्ब टेक्स्ट बुक इन इंग्लिश फॉर क्लास सेवन चैप्टर नाइन बिफोर यू रीड इफ यू विश टू गो ऑन अ बाइसाइकिल राइड द बाइसाइकिल शुड बी इन अ गुड कंडीशन इफ पॉसिबल एन एक्सपर्ट मैकेनिक शुड ओवरहॉल इट बट वॉट हैपन्स इफ द मशीन हैज अ विल ऑफ इट्स ओन एंड द मकैनिक नोज नेक्स्ट टू नथिंग अ बाइसाइकिल इन गुड रिपेयर part 1 a man i knew proposed one evening we should go for a long bicycle ride together on the following day and i agreed i got up early for me i made an effort and i was pleased with myself he came half an hour late i was waiting for him in the garden it was a lovely day he said that's a good looking machine of yours how does it run oh like most of them i answered easily enough in the morning goes a little stiffy after lunch he caught hold of it by the front wheel and the fork and shook it violently i said don't do that you will hurt it i did not see why he should shake it it had not done anything to him besides if it wanted shaking i was the proper person to shake it page number 127 I felt much as I should had he started racking my dog he said this front wheel wobbles i said it doesn't if you don't wobble it it didn't wobble as a matter of fact nothing worth calling a wobble he said this is dangerous have you got a hammer i ought to have been firm but i thought that perhaps he really did know something about the business i went to the tool shed to see what i could find when i came back he was sitting on the ground with the front wheel between his legs he was playing with it twiddling it round between his fingers the remnant of the machine was lying on the gravel path beside him he said it looks to me as if the bearings were all wrong don't you trouble about it any more you will make yourself tired let us put it back and get off word meanings whacking means beating striking wobble means move unsteadily from side to side twiddling means turning remnant means remaining parts bearings means ball bearings page number 128 he said we may as well see what is the matter with it now it is out he talked as though it had dropped out by an accident before i could stop him he had unscrewed something somewhere and out rolled all over the path some dozen or so little balls catch them he shouted catch them we mustn't lose any of them he was quite excited about them we crawled round for half an hour and found 16 he said he hoped we had got all them because if not it would make a serious difference to the machine i put them for safety in my hat it was not a sensible thing to do i admit word meanings growled means crawled on the ground comprehension check question number 1 i got up early for me it implies that first he was an early riser second he was a late riser third he got up late that morning mark the correct answer question number 2 the bicycle goes easily enough in the morning and a little stiffy after lunch the remark is first humorous second inaccurate third sarcastic fourth enjoyable fifth meaningless mark your choice question number 3 the friend shook the bicycle violently find to or three sentences in the text which express the author's disapproval of it question number 4 if not it would make a serious difference to the machine 
what does it refer to page number 129 part 2 he then said that while he was about it he would see the chain for me and at once begin taking off the care case i did try to dissuade him from that i told him what an experienced friend of mine once said to me solemnly if anything goes wrong with your gear case sell the machine and buy a new one it comes cheaper he said people talk like that who understand nothing about machines nothing is easier than taking off a gear case i had to confess he was right in less than 5 minutes he had the gear case in two pieces lying on the path and was groaning for screws he said it was always a mystery to him the way screws disappeared common sense continued to whisper to me stop him before he does any more mischief you have a right to protect your own property from the ravages of a lunatic take him by the scruff of the neck and kick him out of the gate but i am weak when it comes to hurting other people's feeling and i let him model on it he gave up looking for the rest of the screws he said screws had a knack of turning up when you least expected them and that now he would see to the chain he tightened it till it would not move next he loosened it until it was twice as loose as it was before then he said we had better think about getting the front wheel back into its place again i held the fork open and he worried with the wheel at the end of 10 minutes i suggested he should hold the fork and that i should handle the wheel and we changed the places word meanings see to the chain means check or examine the chain ravages means damages lunatic means mad person muddle means mix up things page number 130 at length we did get the thing into position and the moment it was in position he burst out laughing i said what's the joke he said well i am an ass it was the first thing he had said that made me respect him i asked him what had led him to the discovery he said we have forgotten the balls i looked for my hat it was lying topsy-turvy in the middle of the path he was a cheerful disposition he said well we must put back all we can find and trust to providence word meanings topsy turvy means upside down page number 131 we found 11 we fixed 6 on one side and 5 on the other and half an hour later the wheel was in its place again it need hardly be added that it really did wobble now a child might have noticed it he said it would do for the present i said watching you do this is for real use to me it is not only your skill that fascinates me it is your cheery confidence in yourself your inexplicable hopefulness that does me good thus encouraged he set to work to refix the gear case he stood the bicycle against the house and worked from the off side then he stood it against a tree and worked from the on side then i held it for him while he lay on the ground with his head between the wheels and worked at it from below and dropped oil upon himself then he took it away from me and doubled himself across it till he lost his balance and slid over on his head then he lost his temper and tried bullying the thing the bicycle i was glad to see showed spirit and the subsequent proceedings degenerated into little else than a rough and tumble fight between him and the machine 
one moment the bicycle would be on the gravel path and he on the top of it next the position would be reversed he on the gravel path and the bicycle on him now he would be standing flushed with victory the bicycle firmly fixed between his legs but his triumph would be short lived by a sudden quick movement it would free itself and turning upon him hit him sharply over the head with one of its handles word meanings inexplicable means that can't be explained mysterious off or on side means in cricket off side is that side of the field which the batsman is facing to receive the ball on side is the opposite to that degenerated into means were reduced to page number 132 at a quarter to 1 dirty and disheveled cut and bleeding he said i think that will do and rose and whipped his bro the bicycle looked as if it also had enough of it which had received most punishment it would have been difficult to say i took him into the back kitchen where so far as was possible he cleaned himself then i sent him home jerome k jerome abridged working with the text answer the following questions question number 1 did front wheel really wobble what is your opinion give a reason for your answer page number 133 question number 2 in what condition did the author find the bicycle when he returned from the tool shed question number 3 nothing is easier than taking off the gear case comment on or continue this sentence in the light of what actually happens question number 4 What special treatment did the chain receive? Question number 5. The friend has two qualities. He knows what he is doing and is absolutely sure it is good. Find the two phrases in the text which mean the same. Question number 6. Describe the fight between the man and the machine. Find the relevant sentences in the text and write them. Working with the language. Question number 1 Read the following sentences We should go for a long bicycle ride I ought to have been firm We must not lose any of them I suggested that he hold the fork and that I should handle the wheel The words in italics are modal auxiliaries Modal auxiliaries are used with verbs to express notions such as possibility permission willingness obligation necessity etc should must and ought to generally express moral obligation necessity and desirability look at the following we should go on a holiday suggestion It is a good idea for us to go on a holiday. He is not too well these days. He must see a doctor before he becomes worse. Compulsion or necessity. It is absolutely essential or necessary for him to see a doctor. You ought to listen to me. I am well over a decade older than you. More emphatic than should. Since I am older than you it is advisable that you listen to me note should and ought to are often used interchangeably page number 134 rewrite each of the following sentences using should ought to must in place of the italicized words make other changes wherever necessary first You are obliged to do your duty irrespective of consequences. Second, you will do well to study at least for an hour every day. Third, the doctor says it is necessary for her to sleep 8 hours every night. Fourth, it is right that you show respect towards elders and affection towards youngsters. Fifth, if you want to stay healthy, exercise regularly. 
Six, it is good for you to take a walk every morning. Seven, it is strongly advised that you don't stand on your head. Eight, as he has a cold, it is better for him to go to bed. Page number 135. Question number two. Use should, must, ought to appropriately in the following sentences. First, people who live in glass houses dash not throw stones. Second, you dash wipe your feet before coming into the house, especially during the rains. Third, you dash do what the teacher tells you. Fourth, the pupils were told that they dash write more neatly. Fifth, sign in front of a park. You dash not walk on the grass. Sixth, you dash be ashamed of yourself having made such a remark. Seventh, he left home at nine o'clock. He dash be here any minute. Eighth, whatever happened to the chocolate cake? How dash I know. I have just arrived. Question number three. Two or more single sentences can be combined to form a single sentence. Read the following. I made an effort and was pleased with myself. This sentence is in fact a combination of two sentences. I made an effort. I was pleased with myself. Now read this sentence. I did not see why he should shake it. This is also a combination of two sentences. I did not see it. Why should he shake it? Divide each of the following sentences into its parts. Write meaningful parts. If necessary, supply a word or two to make each part meaningful. First, I went to the tool shed to see what I could find. Three parts. Second, when I come back, he was sitting on the ground. Two parts. Page number 136. Third, we may as well see what's the matter with it. Now it is out. Three parts. Fourth, he said he hoped we had got them all. Three parts. Fifth, I had to confess he was right. Two parts. Question number four. N acts as a prefix put at the beginning or as a suffix put at the end to form a new word. En n plus courage is equal to encourage. Weak plus en n is equal to weaken. En N at the beginning or at the end of a word is not always a prefix or a suffix. It is then an integral part of the word. Ending Barren First, now arrange the words given in the box under the three headings prefix, suffix and part of the word. Encourage Barren Fasten even, dampen, endanger, enclose, enable, listen, soften, weaken, enclave. Now arrange these words in the respective columns. First, en as a prefix. Second, en as a suffix. Third, en as a part of the word. Second, find the new words in your textbook and put them under the same headings. Honeycomb, you were just listening to this audiobook. Production assistants, Meenakshi Kukreti and Jagbandhu Jana, recorded by Bhatilang Lingdo. Technical assistants, Soumya Malik, Produced by 
Ajit Horo and presented by CIET NCERT New Delhi India